Okay, today we're still in PowerPoint, but this time we're going to be looking at the next assignment on the list, which is the Animated Sea Aquarium. Um, you'll notice in here we've got a lot of different files that you can download and use. You don't have to use any of these if you uh, don't want to. If you want to come up with your own, that's completely fine. Um, to download them, like for the, the MIDI, uh, which are songs, you would click on the down arrow and open. Here we have it right here. So this is going to have to download the media player here. And so this is the Pirates of the Caribbean. And I've got the Jaws. If you're interested in that one or there's Under the Sea, which is the one that most people use, but it doesn't matter which one you use, you're just going to have some music in the background of your presentation. Then you have all of these different fish that you can download and look at. Again, you can use some of these if you want to, or you can just get your own fish. So let's look at what I'm talking about. We're going to come up here on the instructions. So we're going to be creating a sea aquarium just like this one down here you're going to create your own aquarium so to do that we're going to open up a blank presentation in powerpoint so i'm going to click on powerpoint and i'm just going to choose a blank presentation right here i'm going to save it i'm going to change it to a blank layout so remember when i click on this new slide i have all these different layouts that i could choose from well, I want the layout to be blank. I don't want it to have any placeholders on it at all. And I only want to have one slide. So I'm going to come up here and click on this one, and I'm just going to hit the delete key. So I just have one slide, which is the blank layout. And then I'm going to go ahead and save this so I can get started. I'm going to save it on my desktop here. And we're going to call this one Under the Sea. with your last name on it there. Okay, so now we have our presentation saved and we're ready to go. We want an aquarium background for our slide. So I'm, I'm not going to put a picture in here. I'm going to change the actual background. So to do that, I'm going to come up here to, to the Design tab, and I'm going to come over here and Format Background. And then I'm going to go ahead and pick a picture. Now, here on the picture, I can click and go online, and I'm just going to work look for an aquarium. Aquarium background, and so you see, there's all these different backgrounds that I could choose from for my aquarium. So just choose whichever one you want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and. Just choose this first one here. I'm going to say insert. And so now it took up uh, my aquarium is now here on my slide. I want to make it though a little lighter. It's a little bit darker. So I'm going to change the transparency right here to 30%. You can either click on the arrow right here or you can actually just highlight and type it in. So you can see how when it's zero transparency, it's as dark as it can get. When you add transparency, it just kind of lightens it up so my background isn't as dark, so my graphics and stuff are going to show up more. I don't need this format background navigation pane anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and close that. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the Save button up here on the Quick Access Toolbar. So now we're ready to add some pictures and some sea creatures to our fish tank. So I'm going to come up here to insert and again you can download this uh, fish from the the website or we can go to online pictures and I can look for different fish. Um, you can use cartoon fish if you want or you can use real fish. I would just be consistent whichever one you choose. Um, I like this little clown fish right here. So I'm going to insert that 
and you can see right away there's a problem because I have this background and I want to get rid of the background on the fish. It's very easy to do this in PowerPoint. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to my zoom bar and I'm actually going to zoom in so I can see my graphic. I don't care about the rest of my tank right now. I'm just going to be messing with the graphic. When I have the graphic selected, you can see I have a picture toolbar up here. And on that picture toolbar, if I go clear over to the left, it says Remove Background. I can click on this Remove Background, and it's going to automatically put this little box down here. And you can see where it's the purple, that's everything that it's deleted. Now, I want all of the rest of his tail, so I'm going to click on my little bar right there. I'm going to move it over so I can get the rest of his tail. But you can see I'm still missing some of my picture. So if I want to show all those parts, I need to tell PowerPoint to show them. I want to keep that area. So I'm going to come up here to Mark Areas to Keep. And then I'm going to come back down here, and I'm going to click in the areas that I want to keep. See how now it's kind of coming out, and the black is coming up. Now see, it didn't down there at first. I had to click a couple of times. Right here, you can't really tell it, but this area is also gone. So I need to click on that to turn it black. Then there's just a little bit up here. And if I want to see if I got all of it, I can keep changes. And that looks pretty good. So I'm missing that little part right here that looks kind of flat. So I'm going to come back in to remove background. And I'm going to come over here, mark areas to keep. And I just want to click on here to make sure that we're getting everything. So I'm going to keep changes. It's a little better. So when you zoom in, you can see I went from having the background to now I have my fish. Now the other thing I can do is I can crop it so that my fish takes up less space. So if I click up here on the crop and click on crop here and I can go here and it's going to crop it for me. So I've got my first fish here. And I want to add some animation to him now. So to animate my pit fish, I'm going to come up here to the Animation tab. I've got all these different animations that I can choose from. Or I down here, I have more entrance, entrance effects. What's it going to do when my picture comes in? I also have emphasis effects. Do I want it to get bigger or get smaller? Um, exit effects. Do I want it to do something as it's leaving? Okay. So I've got all these different effects that I can choose from. And down here, I also have motion paths. So I can actually draw the path that I want it to take. Now what I want you to do is just to be experiment with the different ones. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and do a custom path here. So I'm going to click on my fish. I want him to come in over here. And I want him to slim down and then up and off. And so I can double click. And so you can see that's what he does. Now I want to go ahead and I want to move him so that he's actually coming in off the side and I want him going away all the way off the, the pane. So I go here to preview. So that's what he looks like. Now I can actually make this smaller. I want to go ahead and move him off as well. He's not going to go off for me. Mm 
Okay, so you see as I moved him, now my motion path moved. So I want to change this so that he comes clear off. So I'm going to have to click on this and move the little box there. Move the edge of it. Okay. So preview again. And I still don't like it because that little tells up there. So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to zoom out a little bit more so I can take him and move him like that. Oops. Okay. Now he's also very fast. So I've just picked a custom path for my animation. Come over here is the timing. Now you want all of your animations to start with previous or after, not on click. On click means that those animations aren't going to start until you click your mouse. We want our, our fish tank to move on its own. So I'm going to click on here and I'm going to say with previous. I want them all to go together. Duration, how long do I want it to take? And I want it to slow down a little bit so I'm going to make this go up to four or go to five and then let's see what it's going to look like. See now my fish is moving nice and slow across the scene. Watch it again. Okay, so I've got my first animation in here and I need to have at least eight different animals at least eight, a minimum of eight. You can add more if you want to, but you have to have at least eight. So I'm going to come back up here to the ins click off of that so I not, don't have anything selected. Go to my insert tab and I'm going to go to online pictures and I'm going to go get a starfish. Now let's get a one of those little crabs. So I'm going to find a crab And I want to stay with real looking crabs. So let's just use this one right here. I'm going to insert. And again, I've got that white background. So what I have to do is remove background. So with my crab selected, I'm going to come up here to remove background. I need to come over here and move the sides out. So I can make sure I've got all of my crab. I don't see any areas I need to mark to remove or to keep. So I can keep, click on keep changes. And there's my crab. Oops, there goes that. Now I'm going to make him a little bit smaller. And crabs are usually on the bottom. So... I'm just going to make him just walk across the bottom. So I'm going to come up here to animations. I'm going to click on the more effects that I have. And I'm going to click on more motion paths here. You can see I have all these different motion paths I can choose from. So what I'm going to do is I want him to bounce. So I'm going to say bounce left. Actually, I want him to bounce right and say OK. And see, that's what he did here. So I'm going to just make this all the way over to the other edge. And I'm going to move it up here. I'm going to go ahead and move him so he's coming in off of my chart. And I'm going to go all the way off. Got to make sure your mouse is the little plus sign when you're moving that around. So now if I preview that, see he still start 
on click. And you can see it was very fast, and I don't want that. So I'm going to start with previous because I want to move it together, and then I'm going to increase this to 5 2, and I'm going to preview. You see they're going all together. You see my crab though, my crab is showing on my page, so and that's starting right here. So I just need to click this little start arrow, move it over, but then my crab's coming over. I need to move my box. Since this is a motion path, I need to move my little box over. And I'm going to go ahead and insert another animal here. I'm going to go to online pictures and I want a starfish. So I'm going to come down here and find a starfish. There's all sorts of ones. I like this little guy. And insert. Oh, it doesn't like that picture. It says it can't download this one. So that's fine. I'll just cancel. I'll just go find another starfish. How about this one? And go to insert. And it likes that one. So again, I need to remove background. So I'm going to come up here to remove background. And it actually looks like there's a couple of little shadows here I need to remove. So mark areas to remove. And I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click on these. And let's see, keep changes. And I'm going to go back to remove background. And I'm going to mark areas to remove. I just want to get rid of some of this dark shadow. And then keep changes. There you go. I like that. Now I got this shadow down here. So you can keep doing this until you get it like you want it to look and this is where PowerPoint can really start taking a lot of time when you're playing with it and you're like I want it to be just perfect keep changes there you go that'll be good enough now I want to crop this so I don't have all this extra space on my picture so I'm going to go to crop and I can move my edges of my picture over. And then I'm going to crop. And I want to resize him. So I'm going to come down here to the corner. When you resize, you always want to use the corners. So here's my starfish. And I'm going to click and I'm going to put him down here. And now I need to add some animation to him. So I'm going to come up here to animations. And what I want to do with him is I just kind of want him to, I think, swivel. Yeah, he can just kind of swivel for me. So now I'm going to come up here and I'm going to say it to do with previous. slow it down a little bit and then here's you can see my starfish swiveling in there okay now I'm ready to add another fish so I'm going to go up here to insert got online picture and this time I want an octopus actually I think these are very beautiful creatures until you get them out of the ocean and into land and then they're really kind of gross. Okay, it doesn't like that picture that I chose. Well, actually it doesn't like anything. It stopped working. So I'm going to cancel this. Well, actually I'm going to let it go. Now, I hadn't saved it for a while. This is actually very good that you get to see this. You can see right here I've got these, these files that were automatically saved for me. 
So this is the last one. It was saved at 220. So I'm going to click on that. And then I can close all these files. I don't need this office timeline. It's um, add-on for my for PowerPoint. And then I'm going to come back up here and you can see I've got all of that's with previous and everything. So I, everything was saved. It was recovered. So now I'm going to save it. Oh, I've got to save it with a different name. So I'm going to go File, Save As. This PC I'm going to put it on my desktop and I'm going to name it Under the Sea Sessions 1 and save. That way I know this is the one that I want to submit. Now I'm ready to add another. Go to my online pictures. Let's look for Octopus. Find that picture again. Insert. It still doesn't like that octopus. That just doesn't like that picture at all. So it's starting over again. This is the one I want, so I can close. And what might be my problem is that I was still selected on that starfish. So I'm going to click on File, do another Save As. This time I call it 2. I'm going to click off of everything, go to Insert, Online Pictures, Octopus, and this time I'm going to find a different picture because it doesn't like that one. I think that one's really pretty too. So let's find the octopus here. There's one walking on the ground. Let's go with I just really like that first one. And if you don't find one that you like in there, I'm going to go ahead and show all results and see if there's one that comes up in here that I like. I'm going to use this guy right here, see if he'll let me put him in. So I'm going to go Insert. Aha! Now I'm going to have to remove the background. And then Keep Changes. I'm just going to keep him like that, I think. Make him a little bit smaller. There we go. And then I'm going to add animation to him. And so you can add whatever animation you want to. I'm going to go ahead and put another motion path on here. Um, I'm just going to make him go down. to keep going until he stops in the corner. And again, I want to start with previous. I'm going to go ahead and make him at 5 like the rest of them are. And if I do a preview, uh-oh, I have a problem with my octopus. He's not doing what I wanted him to do. So, I'm going to come here, and I'm going to click on it. You can see, when I click on the octopus, down here is my motion path, these two arrows. So I need to click on this guy here, and move that all the way up here. I don't know why it's not letting me move. Got the double-headed arrow there. 
And let's see what happens. Okay, he's going up, but I really wanted him to go the other way. So, I'm going to have to click on this. And if I right click, you can sometimes see some different options. Um, I don't see an option with the animation. So I need to come up here with animation and go to more motion paths. And instead of diagonal down, well, I want him diagonal down, right? And then I need to click on that to move that down where I want him to go. And then let's do a preview. Need to change this to with previous and slow it down. Now let's see what happens. All right. So you're going to do this until you have eight different objects on there. And once you have all that done, if you go to slideshow and go from, let's see, if we come to slideshow and we want to do a custom slideshow, no, that's not what we want. Um, well, let's look, watch it first. We're going to say from beginning. And this is, if you have two monitors, this is the view you're going to get on your monitor um, that you're looking at. And the other monitor is going to be your, your main one. So I'm going to come up here to display settings and I'm going to swap presenter view. So there's my slideshow now. I'm going to go ahead and play it again. And it doesn't like me. Um, we're going to end that slideshow. And we want to change it so that we can. I'm going to go to Setup Slideshow. And here's where we can tell it that we want it to. Um, loop continuously until escaped. So what we want it to do is just to keep going over and over and over again. And if we've got a, a kiosk like at a mall, you can have it look there. Here's our multiple monitors. Use presenter view. I'm going to undo that one. And we don't have to worry about advancing slides. And we say OK. Now let's see what happens. Go to slideshow from beginning. And you can't see it because it's on the other monitor. When we're messing with the animations, we can go Animation Pane. And then we can see we've got our four pictures. You should have up to eight. And we've got Play here. That's what they're going to look like. It was playing from number four. That's why it was there. So if we click on this, we've got this little arrow down at the bottom. We can click on that. We can come down here to timing and we can tell it to repeat. Maybe want it just to keep repeating until the next click. Okay, it's already on five seconds, very slow. Then I'm going to say OK. And then I can do the next thing with the next one. And come up here, I'm going to select it, click on the down arrow, go to timing. 
and repeat until next click. So I'm going to do that with all of the pictures here. And now I want to put sound in to the background. So I can come up here to the Insert tab, and over here I have Audio. And I want some audio that's already on my PC. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to go to Downloads. And because I clicked those three MIDIs at the beginning of this, I've got, I can choose from Jaws, Pirates of the Caribbean, or Under the Sea. So I'm going to choose uh, Under the Sea. I'm going to click Insert. And now I have playback going on. Um, I want to change the start to automatically. I don't want to have to tell it when to start. And I just want it to keep going. Okay. So if I hit Rewind after playing, it's just going to keep going and going and going. So now if I look at my PowerPoint, I'm going to move my presenter screen to the other side here. I've got two monitors here we're looking at. And my PowerPoint's actually playing on this monitor. So I'm going to move this over here. And I'm going to hit Slideshow and From Beginning. And here is my, that's my, and it's going to just keep going until I hit click. And then it'll stop once I hit the click. So coming back over here. Right here in the middle is my little icon for sound, and I can actually click on that and I can move that someplace so that it's not real visible. You can actually take it off as well, but you don't have to. You can just move it down like that. So you're going to put at least eight different animals on here. You can see over here in the instructions I tell you um, exactly how to do the graphics, what to do. Um, animation, whatever anima animation you want, just make sure that you uh, set the start to with previous or after previous and change the duration or delay. Okay. Make sure you can reorder it however you want to and then download the audio. Then you're ready to submit it in Blackboard for grading. Hopefully you'll have some fun playing with this, learning how to manipulate your graphics, getting them to Remove the background and you can format them any way you want to.